name's Damien Walsh. I'm the electrolytician from Melbourne, I'm representing Stardust Manufacturing. Stardust Manufacturing is an importer and a manufacturing company for commercial and catering equipment. And, uh, one of the products that I'm going to use is the Touchline, the Electrolux Combi Oven. And with that, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do Peking Duck. With Peking Duck, the first thing I'm going to do is inflate the skin away from the body, the duck. There's three methods. The first method is the traditional method, of course, is um, using your lungs, blowing wind through the neck uh, of a duck, which will, of course, inflate the skin. That was, of course, the traditional way the Chinese used to do. Uh, the one other method, though, I'm going to, that it is, you can do is using a bike pump. And, um, of course, the way, the quick and easy way, I'm going to use the compressor. Um, so what I do with the, the needle of the uh, compressor is that I just insert it just underneath the skin, pinch it, hold it, inflate. And this of course will create a crispy skin for the duck. Turn the duck over, insert the needle just underneath the skin again, pinch it, inflate, circle as that. And this next step, what I'm going to do is glaze the duck. The ingredients that we use for the glazing of the duck is honey, soy sauce, star anise, cinnamon and clove, rice vinegar, chopped up garlic, and chopped up ginger. Now I'm going to actually glaze the duck by using the ingredients that I told you. Also what I can use is a little bit of Glaze, I add the liquid. Place in maltose. Soya. The rice vinegar. Star anise. Clove and cinnamon. And then I'm going to put the ginger. Of course, this is all going to enhance the flavour of the duck. And last but not least, the garlic. So when the uh, liquid comes to boil, I will place the duck over the liquid and baste it. That'll create the colour. The broth is about to um, come to the boil. It roughly takes about a minute using the Electrolux stove. Okay, once the liquids come to the boil, slowly pour the liquid over the duck. You want the molasses and all the honey. Actually, give the duck a shine itself. So this will take approximately a minute to baste the duck. You know, just adding that little bit of colouring, as some Asians do, to give that sort of a pinkish colour. Just, uh, just baste it slowly. And also there's another way that you can actually place the duck in the uh, liquid itself. You can do that for about 15 to 20 seconds. After basting the duck in the liquid, what we're going to do is we're going to put inside the cavity of the duck some uh, garlic, ginger, star anise and some cinnamon. After that, we're going to sew it up with a metal skewer and with a meat hook. We're going to insert that meat hook behind the neck of the duck and hang it up and show you the next process using the Electrolux touch screen. So with this metal skewer, we, we uh, go from side to side slowly. Try not to stab yourself, of course. Once you've inserted, you've closed it. We're going to trim off the duck a bit. We're going to 
take the, the wing off, which we're going to lose the first joint here, using the heel of the knife. Turn it around, do it from the other side, on the heel of the knife, cut, perfect. Now with the meat hook, back behind, we're actually going to insert it from here. You can see the colour of the duck is slightly pink. So, put it from the back, and that's it. Now we've got five Peking ducks hanging off a meat hook. Um, so in total what we can cook in the uh, Touchline combi oven is ten Peking ducks. Um, I mean, you know, looking at a ten tray, what this Touchline is, is a six tray that could also comfortably hold a ten. Um, if we had a twenty tray, um, that could even hold up more again on top of each other. So what I'm going to do now is going to present, show you how we use the Touchline screen in the process of cooking the peaking duck. I've got the touch line of the Electrolux combi oven. And what we're on is on the manual setting. With the manual setting, what we're going to do is start the, the settings for the uh, peaking duck. So the first phase, what we want to do for, for the duck is that we want to dry heat. So we touch the dry heat uh, icon. As you can see, that the vent is closed, but what we want is the vent to be open. So we touch the open vent. Uh, we want to do the chamber at 25 degrees. We want to do it for eight hours. We also want to drop the fan speed down to half. And um, for the first phase, if you like what you've put in, drop the icon down. As you can see, 25 degrees of chamber, eight hours for the uh, dual, dual time. And we've got half the fan speed. We want to add a new phase, which is going to phase two. Because we want dry heat. We want the vent open the chamber at 175. And now we're looking at using the probe which was on timer. Now we're going to put it into probe. The probe is going to be aiming at 75 degrees. And what we want to do is open up the open up this page and we want to put it on half the fan speed. Drop it down. So let's have a look, go back to phases and see what we've done. So as you can see in our phases we've got 25 degrees of a chamber, 8 hour drill time and half the fan speed. The next phase is 175 at 75 degrees aiming for the, with the probe with half the, fan, dry, half the speed of the fan. Um, once we've liked what we've set into the programs we put, click on touch the icon of save programs and with the save programs we'll put in Peking Duck. Once you like the wording touch OK and we're looking to now we're into the programs Peking Duck. So next time when we go to do Peking Duck what we do is all we go is onto the programs touch that and there we are we're into the programs of Peking Duck. Now once we've uh, preheated the oven to 25 degrees what we've got to do before we start we've got to insert the probe into the duck's breast which will go from out to the meat because don't forget this is the second stage what we're going to do so with this program that we've set we're actually going to do it in one shot so we've inserted the probe into the duck uh, we've preheated the oven we've closed the door and all we have to do now is touch the screen say start and within probably approximately say nine hours the peaking duck is done Okay, now we're looking at the um, ducks at the eight hour process of drying. Uh, the combi oven has indicated it's got another eight minutes to go. Uh, when that eight minutes is up, the oven will turn into the uh, phase two cycle, which the phase two cycle has uh, 175 degrees in the chamber and the uh, core temperature of the duck to be at 75 degrees. Once it reaches that, the oven will uh, indicate and let us know that the duck has been completed uh, cycle. Now we're at the final stage of our peaking duck. Time has gone off. We'll touch on the screen saying OK. And now we have the end result. For the peaking duck, as you can see, the end result is 
turned out in a nice golden colour, even. And what I'll also show you is um, the peaking duck at the back. So we're getting a back one from, from the rear of the uh, combi, so I mean, that the uh, even of the heat through the, throughout the combi is, is reducing even heat and even brownness. Uh, now we're at the stage of uh, we've finished off with uh, roasting off the Peking duck. Now that took approximately eight and a half hours, uh, eight hours of uh, drying stage of the skin. Uh, the next part was doing uh, roasting off the duck, which was you know 175 for about uh, half an hour using the pro, uh, 75 to 75 degrees. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to complete the, the Peking duck. The traditional Chinese way is that using a crepes. We're going to use spring onions. Um, also, going to put uh, cucumber. And spread a little bit of hoisin sauce. Now, to make the uh, crepes, what we need is eggs, flour, milk, and a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And um, of course, we're going to use a bit of a spray oil over the over the uh, non-stick pan. Um, what we're going to use today is we're going to use a Cooktech induction stove. All right now, I'll place the picking tack on the side here. Each a bit of a wipe. Now, first, add a bit of flour, one egg, just put a, for the starch, just put a little bit of milk to make it into a paste. So slowly it's coming together. The texture of the, the crepes has got to be, uh, it's going to be. A bit runny. As we can see, it's come together quite well. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And once you've got it to a smooth paste, add a little bit of more milk. And when we have the crepes, it's got to be quite runny when you put it into the pan to get that thin crepe. So there you go, as you can see it's quite runny. It's a good consistency. Put that to the side. Uh, with the uh, Cooktech stove, what we're going to do is put it on number five. Good thing about the uh, induction stove here is that you, it's quite portable. Um, you can place it anywhere out, anywhere in the kitchen. Spray a little bit of uh, rice bran oil. So at this point, pour the mixture in with the spoon, move it around, spoon, flat, smooth it out. We're going to get a crepe. This will only take seconds, as you can see. Nice little even heat. The thing about it, you can't burn yourself, as you can see, touching around the uh, stove itself. Turn it over. Nice little even colour, light, pale. Put it on number five, I just don't want it too hot. It's a slow heat. And there you go. Crepes. First crack. Remove the skewer. Cut the breast. Put on the breast. Fill it. As you can see. What I'm going to do is cut this in strips. Using one of our crepes. Smear a little bit of hoisting sauce. Place one or two strips of duck. A bit of um, 
spring onion, a couple of pieces of cucumber, and then what we're going to do is fold it halfway, go the other way, and there you go. Now we've completed the Peking duck recipe. Uh, on your right is the Peking duck wrapped in the crepe. Um, the ingredients is Peking duck, spring onion, cucumber, hoisin sauce and crepe. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration of uh, the traditional way of making Peking duck.